Donishta, I'm sure you will agree with me that those who have unfortunately received a cancer diagnosis do not have the luxury of time while multi-annual budgets are introduced or while efficiencies are found in the health spending. This is true at, a at the medical end of the spectrum also. And it is true with respect to the excellent community support organisations that often accompany cancer patients and their families through what is often one of the most stressed, stressful and difficult times in a person's life. And that is why today I want to highlight the challenges that are being experienced by a fantastic Offaly-based service, DOCUS, Offaly Cancer Support Group. Representatives from DOCUS met with Minister Donnelly along with other members of a working group on the 13th of September of this year and they impressed on him the seriousness of the funding situation facing the wider collective community um, of cancer support services. The Department of Health did undertake to speak with the National Cancer Control Programme and also the CHOs to see what funding may be available through them as well as exploring any other avenues for possible once-off funding. DOCUS also submitted a comprehensive business proposal to Ms Carol Broadbank, Chief Officer of CHO8, outlining the need for Section 39 funding at local level. But what did DOCUS get for all their trouble? A one-line response with an apology that no funding would be made available for DOCUS, despite the fact that DOCUS Offaly Cancer Support Group falls into the same community healthcare organisation as Lark in Mullingar and the Kushla Centre in Port Leash, both of whom are receiving Section 39 funding through CHO8. And indeed, these organisations also do fantastic work. But I want to stress that DOCUS has an excellent and collaborative working relationship with these centres that I've just mentioned, as I say, who do excellent work, and it's good that they have funding. But the fact here remains that there is a gross disparity in funding that needs to be addressed. The major concern in DOCUS is that it is not receiving any funding through CHO Area 8, despite the other two groups receiving it. DOCUS and the community throughout Offaly that relies on it for vital support is now at risk of what is looking like a major operating deficit for 2023. And I think that what we're talking about here, my understanding is that it's approximately €50,000. In real terms, it may mean the difference of DOCUS being able to operate a vital service or not being able to operate a vital service. Tanishta, I'm calling you to take whatever action is necessary to revise this decision and to have the HSC extend the courtesy of providing something more than a one-line reply to cancer advocates like DOCUS. Garth Thank Mark. you, Deputy. Well, 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 first of all, um, I actually have, have um, addressed this issue before the budget. Uh, I spoke to the Minister of Health in relation to community cancer support groups across the country who came together to seek additional supports for organisations that were established as voluntary organisations and their, as, as you, we all know, um, significant fundraising uh, efforts in various communities across the country have underpinned these cancer support groups who provide very valuable services to cancer patients and their families more specifically and they provide tailor-made um, psychological, social, uh, community supports to children, to young people, um, and to parents um, and siblings and so forth, and it's very, very valuable. Now, it has never been in the Section 39 space. Most of these organisations haven't been, if we're honest, and I think the idea that we'd be moving to Section 39 overnight, I don't think was a realistic proposition, but what they did ask was that we would begin a funding stream for such organisations. Now, the Minister has allocated um, three million, actually, um, I think it was 2.75, but I think that will go up to 3 million um, for such organisations. Uh, and then the hope would be, to, to, there's been an assessment made. I think the ask was higher, but one has to work through the capacity to, to absorb and so on like that. And then the hope through the National Cancer Control Programme, which has now in its latest strategy has allowed for the importance of this in, in, the, in, in its strategy, that in the future then we mainstream that as a recurrent funding. Um, so I don't know when DOCUS got the letter, um, but I would like to think that we would review that in the context of the allocation and the budget. Uh, I'll talk to the Minister for Health um, in, in, in relation to it. Uh, but I believe these are very valuable. And the problem very often is the acute services absorb 
all of the money in health, not all of it, but a lot of it, and sometimes to the detriment of the development of other strands of healthcare. And the work that these uh, groups do is invaluable in supporting, once people leave hospital or come away with a diagnosis of cancer, it can be a very anxious moment, a very worrying moment. They come out of hospital, they've just got news. These are really very important, um, almost lifesavers for people to have opportunities to meet with others who have been similarly diagnosed and that they can meet and discuss the implications of it for, 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 for them and their, and, and their families. So this is a start, Deputy. I think you've raised an important issue. I'm very interested in it myself. I've worked with these organisations for quite a long time. Uh, they came to us to make a submission um, and we've made a response. It, it may, mean, may not be at the scale that people might have wished, but I think it's a very significant start and, and, and intervention. Thank you for your response and also I want to acknowledge the fact that you have said that you would be favourable to asking the Minister for a review. I think that's absolutely crucial here because there's so much frustration in terms of the inequity of the funding that two other groups in the same CHO Area 8, which is welcome, were able to qualify for Section 39 funding. And yet this group, and I want to say that DOCUS and their staff, they do incredible work. That's without a doubt. And they're badly needed in, in the area, you know, and in the county and beyond. Um, they do fantastic work and they need support. And it's my understanding that it's only a small sum really in the grand scale of things that's needed here in order to keep this service operating. So it is vital. Um, it is obviously disappointing to see also that DOCUS invited uh, re representatives from the HSE down to the centre to see firsthand the inv in invaluable work they do and that this invitation was never accepted by the HSC representatives. That's disappointing. And I know obviously it's, it's nothing to do with you as Tony but it is important to say that here today and um, that that's what's happened Thank you, but I just want to ask as well like how can the HSC come in here looking for billions of funding when they're not going to support organizations like DOCUS in our oh, communities you, I just think it's a bit much Gareth much. Well, to be fair to the HSC they have enormous challenges in, in, in budgets well. but I think you're but they should be working with these organizations uh, I know with the ARC Centre it's the consultant that Professor Seamus O'Reilly in our city has been leading to charge for these centres. As a consultant and a clinician, he sees the value of organisations like ARC in, in, in that context um, and, and advocates very strongly. And by the way, the, the three million has to be additional to whatever existing funding CEHOs in different parts of the country are allocating uh, to these organisations. We don't want to, to replace uh, existing local uh, arrangements and, and, and provision that um, the HSC, to be fair, in certain CHOs have provided funding to quite a number of organisations. Uh, I'll ask the Minister to look at the DOPA situation uh, in the light of you raising it here in the dawn.